Let's catch up on the presidential campaign as a Republican candidate search for votes. In South Carolina, CBS News confirms that John Huntsman will drop out of the race this morning, throwing his support to Mitt Romney. Political correspondent Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie. John Huntsman had banked his whole campaign on New Hampshire's moderate Republicans, only, of course, to finish a disappointing third there. But he vowed to keep going through South Carolina until it became clear South Carolina just wasn't going for him. I'd say third place is a ticket to ride, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, South Carolina! For John Huntsman, the hard light of day had a different message. Voters in South Carolina and elsewhere didn't much like President Obama's former ambassador to China. He sat at the bottom of every poll. His exit will have little impact on the race, now focused on which candidate will get the evangelical vote. In South Carolina, that vote now is divided between Newt Gingrich, Rick Perry, and Rick Santorum. But over the weekend, more than 100 Christian conservative leaders met in Texas and made a pact. Santorum is their man. I don't know that that ever happens with a group of Christian leaders, but they were able to miraculously come together and, and stand in support of my candidacy. Not everyone's going along. Gingrich immediately tried to downplay the endorsement, arguing that he got a third of the evangelical vote. I was told that we had a very, very substantial vote on the first round. Perry has been making the most direct appeal, even making light of his shortcomings by comparing himself to a biblical prophet. Moses, he tried to talk God out of, of, of making him go lead the people. He, he wasn't a good public speaker. From time to time, I can relate to that. But the two former frontrunners are struggling, and Gingrich has had some recent missteps. In a forum over the weekend, the rules said candidates couldn't attack each other, but Gingrich couldn't help himself and got booed. Governor Romney ran saying he created 100,000 jobs in the private sector. And I, let me just Mr. say, Mr. Speaker, we, we, we've question. said we will Sorry. not allow okay. any well, comment I'm on the other candidates. I'm just trying candidates. to answer his question. Because he did. So let me say it differently. Well, now this morning, John Huntsman will endorse Mitt Romney, saying he believes Romney's got the best chance to beat President Obama. Of course, though, Charlie, that may endorse that endorsement may not get Romney many more votes. One South Carolina poll had Huntsman behind even comedian Steve Colbert. So it may not make much difference for Romney, but will he still, is he still the favorite in South Carolina? Oh, no doubt. A poll's got him with a pretty commanding lead. And on that endorsement, it could make one, it could do one thing for Romney. It kind of reinforces the message that he's been trying to say that he's most electable. Huntsman decided to get out his aid say because he thought the party needed to come together behind the candidate who has the best chance of beating Obama. So that endorsement later this morning might reinforce that message. Jan, thanks again.